concerning the title of the exhibition, Strange Oasis, um, it does come from a familiar and uh, personal um, reference. Uh, my brother was a, a philosopher and a philosophy student interested in the work of Martin Heidegger um, and uh, interested in phenomenology and such. And one of the uh, philosophers from that circle that uh, was important to Heidegger was, was Eugene Fink, um, <clears throat> someone who was a phenomenologist and uh, wrote a book called uh, Oasis of Happiness, which is, is a, in a way a small pamphlet that discusses the, uh, or tries to create an ontology of the play, and the notion of play, uh, about how um, play is this thing that we seek um, constantly as human beings. And at some point, uh, Fink talks about it as it being a strange oasis, uh, a, uh, this parenthesis of experience that, um, that we encounter or that we create for ourselves in our daily lives. And um, I've always thought that the things that I do kind of have that quality or that desire at least to become those parentheses, those, those um, blips or, or uh, folds uh, in everyday life that you might encounter that represent and, um, and recreate regular life and conventions that we normally are part of, but with a twist or with a, with a particular um, difference that you as participant or viewer or reader need to or are invited to recognize. That piece is called Vita Vel Regula, um, and, uh, which literally means in English, the rules of life. The, um, I usually am associated with what people say or call socially engaged art or social practice, which is, uh, I mean, I would define as a way of making art that is really about focusing on the, the process itself. The experience itself is the work. Uh, it's, it's really like the intersubjective experience that really becomes the work instead of like the actual final piece that like theoretically is hung on a wall, you know? In this case, this thing is both. It's, bo it's both an artwork that is hanging on a wall and it's also this experience that is done, gone through collectively. Um, last year, in 2013, I'm sorry, 2000, yes, two years ago, 2013, I um, invited 50 people to be part of this project. 25 of them were very close friends and family of mine, um, all of them younger than me and likely to survive me. And the other 25 were complete strangers that I met that same day at a gallery in Milano, where we had, where we exhibited the first time this piece. The project consisted in them participating in a game that will last for the course of their entire lives. Each participant received 16 envelopes, and uh, each envelope had a date inscribed on it. The first envelope had the date of the opening, which is March, I think March 1st. Uh, the second one, two days later, would be open two days later. The third one, four days later, eight days, 1632, 64. The times between envelopes open, uh, doubled as the time progresses. So you go through a lot of envelopes in the first few months or few weeks, but then the time really starts becoming more and more distant. And, um, the uh, second to the last envelope, which is to be opened in 2053, will probably be my last envelope. And my, my daughter, who was three years old when she started this process, when we started this process, she will be 88 years old on the day of the last envelope, which is in 2097, which is in November 2097. There's also an envelope to be read in the definitely a certain event of my death, you know? It's a social contract that we undertake as individuals to, to fulfill a certain function, you know, over the course of our entire lives. And, um, and it's also, to me, a reflection or a, I don't know, maybe a commentary on, on the role that art um, plays in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a museum. 
you know, I am a museum educator and I spend a lot of time in galleries and I often think about artworks that have been sitting there for a century. And I often wonder whether the artist who made that work was aware or ever thought about their work a hundred years later after their death. It's almost like creating a little performance piece that is very slow and very low key and then it will have that final uh, concluding moment.